Hey you going guys, my name's back. Um, this week, seen as like last week was sort of a pretty big week where we did like short films and stuff, we thought we'd do something a little bit simpler and we're doing tags this week. So I thought seen as the one one of the main things that stood out when I did my audition was my accent. So I thought I would um, do the accent tag and add a little bit of Australian slang in there. So let's get to it. Okay, first it says I have to pronounce, I'm looking down, just saying, just looking down, because, well, words. Um, pronounce the following words. Okay, we've got aunt, roof, root, theatre, iron, salmon, pyjamas, aluminium, doorknob, spitting image, crayon, caramel, fire, water, New Orleans, pecan, both, Court, tumbler, envelope, syrup, oil, fire, um, lost what I'm up to, oh yes, water, shore, data, ruin, both, again, probably, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, naturally, cracker jack, and wash. So they're the words I had to pronounce. Next we're just, what is it? We're going to, what is it when, blah, blah, blah. So just to see what different countries say about different things. I don't know. Okay. What is it called when you throw loo paper, actually, so, sorry, toilet paper on a house? It's called teeping. What do you call it when it is raining while sunny? Sun shower. What is bubbly carbonated drink? Soft drink. What do you call gym shoes? Joggers. What do you call your grandparents? Nana and Grandad. Or Grandma and Grandad. Nanny and Poppy. Something along those lines. Um, what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry your groceries in a supermarket? Trolley. Shopping trolley. Um, where is it? Oh yes. What is a spider with oval shaped body with really long legs. Daddy long legs. What is the thing you change the TV channels with? Remote or clicker? Or in my case it's just a motion to tell everyone to change the channel. Um, what do you say to address a group of people? Hey guys. Okay, so that's the original accent tag. So I thought that I would do some Aussie slang for you guys, seeing as you seem to enjoy it so much. So it's like, basically, we're lazy. If you take a word and put it, like, halve it, and you'll be right. So what do we got here? I've just got some Aussie slang written down on my computer. We've got um, Aussie rules, which is Australian rules football. We've got Ambo, which is an ambulance. She'll be apples, mate, which is it'll be all right. Arvo is afternoon. Aussie is Australia, obviously Australian. Banana Bender is a person from Queensland, which is where I'm from. A Barbie is a barbecue. A bastard. Term of endearment. <laughs> which it is. Ah, you bastard. You know, like it's like, ah, oh, you lucky bastard or something like that. Bathers are swimmers. Big Smoke is a city, like a large city. A Bicky is a biscuit. A Blowy is a blowfly, so a, a fly. Bonza is like, yeah, Bonza, she'll be Bonza mate, so like, you beaut, ripper sort of thing. Um, bogged is being stuck in the mud. Booze bus. The booze bus, there's a lot of different meanings for a booze bus. It is um, basically... It's either the cop car that picks you up on the way home, <laughs> or there we actually do have booze buses here, so they actually pick you up from wherever the place is and take you home sort of thing. Um, oh yeah, budgie smugglers. They're like men's bathers. What do we got? Chewy is chewing gum. 
Chrissy is Christmas. Your clacker is your bum hole. <laughs> a cocky is a cockatoo. Or a cockroach. And a co cockroach is a person from New South Wales. So there you go. It's a little bit, um, a bit of a combo there for you. Dax are your trousers. Or oh, dead set. That's a good one. I always say that. Dead set. It's like, that's the truth. That is like, dead set. Down Under is Australia. Um, a lot of people say Australia and New Zealand, but I've only ever heard it's being called Australia. A Dunny. <laughs> dunny or Lou. Um, that, uh, basically, the mean, meaning to a, a Dunny is what they used to call the Outback Dunny because Dunnies used to be outside the house. Like, they'd be down the back in a little, little like, hut and you'd have, like, a drop hole and you'd, do your business into the hole sort of thing so and on the subject of toilets we have the long drop which is like the hole in the ground and then we got the thunder box which was the box out the back that you did your business in fig jam fuck i'm good just ask me fruit loop is a fool like someone is just an idiot g'day is hello so it's good day but of course we cut everything in half so it's good day your bloody galah is someone acting the fool grog is alcohol grundy's is underwear Lippy is lipstick. Lollies are sweets or candy. Mates rates is discount. Um. Oh, that's, she'll be Mickey Mouse, mate. That was like, she'll be right, mate. You know, like, it'll be right. It'll be fine. Muddy is a mud crab that we actually cook and eat. The Never Never is like, deep in the bow back, they basically call it like the never never land where you don't get lost there because you'll die there sort of thing. No, no wackers, that's always a good one, no wackers buddy, so no worries. Oh, pig's ass, that's a good one, which means I don't agree with you. Rip snorter, <laughs> I haven't used that for years, rip snorter, which is like, that's awesome sort of thing. A roo is kangaroo. A servo is a service station. A Sheila is a woman. It's shit house. That's what we say all the time. It's shit house, which means it's of of poor quality. Alrighty, guys, that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed some of my Australian slang there, and I'll see you guys next Monday. Cheers.